Hello everyone, this is Sean Hargreaves and I'm going to do a little tutorial here on projecting um, from the back wall in an interior space. Um, a lot of uh, students and uh, a lot of concept artists are very very good at drawing objects where you're drawing from outside, you know just a box for example, you're very good at drawing boxes and shading the box and uh, you know boxes, characters, creatures, props but when it comes to uh, drawing from within a space um, a lot of concept artists uh, kind of fall apart, designers um, because it's it's really a it can be quite a task it's um, it's not always a, a an easy thing especially when you get complex uh, objects in there and uh, you have a complex space um, so I just want to uh, go over a few very basic things here to get some of you started um, because it's uh, it's, pr it's pretty important but um, I think these little tips here will, will, will definitely shed some light on, on accurately scaling things um, and, and, and you know some accurate perspective as well uh, so we'll just do something basic. We'll start with uh, we'll start with the back wall because we're going to project everything from this back wall. Imagine we're in a box inside a a room that's just uh, a relatively symmetrical box. So um, I'll just draw a uh, holding the shift key down. I'll just draw a uh, square here. And uh, so here's our back wall. Imagine this is a back wall. Um, we know we're going to have a, a ceiling, a floor, a left wall, and a right wall. Um, so let's let's give this wall some scale. This wall um, is the height and width are, are the ex exactly the same. So let's uh, let's say that this wall is about tw uh, 20 feet by 20 feet. So if this wall is 20 feet tall by 20 feet wide, we know that halfway will be 10 feet. This will be 10 feet. This is 10 feet. So the middle of the of the wall is 10 feet. In the middle of the height of the wall is 10 feet. We'll half that at 5 feet. And then above that, that's 15 feet. If we're going from the ground. Or the, or the floor. So again, this whole space here, this whole wall here is 20 feet by 20 feet. Okay? So now we've got, now, now we've, we've kind of, we've got our scale here, we know this is 5 feet and this is 5 feet as well. Um, I'm about 6'4", so my eyes are around 6 feet tall, and I've always started with that um, in terms of um, where my eye line is. Um, but now, um, as time has gone by, I've, I've lowered my eye line to more of a camera eye line, which is uh, when we're doing dramatic interiors, it's usually around 3 feet. Um, it gets around waist height which can be pretty dramatic if you're doing some kind of um, uh, action scene like a fight uh, but just for the sake of this uh, this video here we'll do um, we'll do the my eye line at six feet so let's just grab a, a guide here and this will be our horizon beyond the wall so horizon we'll put it about six feet here Okay, this is six feet, six foot horizon. All right, so that's six feet on the wall. Um, if I'm standing here, I'm, I'm about here. I'm much better looking than this figure, but there's about a man over six feet, but say it's about six foot four, whatever. I line at six. 
So I'll say that this man is standing at the five foot point, five foot from the side wall. So here he is. And he's you know, six feet four. You can make him six feet, doesn't matter. Um, and his eye line is at six feet. So if this is the case, if this is where we want him, if this is where we want to stand in the space, we want, and we're standing, you know, off the, off the center. We're between we're between the center of the back wall and the right wall. So we're at five feet, knowing that the center is ten feet. Half of ten being five. That's where we are. So let's get a different color here, so we can uh, make it easier to see. So we're going to put our vanishing point right here. That dot right there is where we are, because we're looking. Where we're, our, our our shoulders are parallel to the back wall, and we're looking at the back wall. We're centered between the center point of the room and the right wall, and we're looking to a horizon. That's where our vanishing point is. Okay. So. Knowing that that's where our vanishing point is, knowing that's where our, our height is, we can start pulling and start building our room. So let's see what we got here. Four. So here we're pulling the edges of the corners of the, of the room here. So here's our left wall, our ceiling, our right wall, and our floor. And of course you would get rid of this. All right, so now we have a now we we're pr pretty accurate here. I and mean, we're very accurate. Let's continue with some more scale things. So um, say we have uh, some pillars and we come out maybe our pillars are the front um, of our pillar, the back of our pillars is, is about one feet or one foot so that's there and our pillars are two feet thick. So there's the distance of our pillars. So then what we can do, go back to the blue here. Let's go down in size here. And we can draw our base of our pillars here like this. Now where's the top of our pillars? Well, we go to our front here and we take that line straight up and where that collides with the ceiling that's where the front fascia of our pillar is and then right here that's our horizontal and you can do the same with all of these Again with the back, here's the back of the pillar. Take that up to there. And the back of the pillar is about there. So you can do that on both sides. 
and then you get an accurate representation of of the space um, projecting everything from the back wall now if you have for example a say you have a, a um, say you have a, 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 a gosh let's think of something a vase right here's a vase and the vase is about you know two feet tall and then you figure out where it is along here it's maybe seven or eight feet from the left wall so what you do is you know you have your vase let's zoom in here just beautifully drawn vase something like this you draw a little box around that you want the vase out here somewhere for example So here's your vase out here. Still two feet tall. And you can, you know, draw it in. Do whatever you need to do with it. You know, same thing if you have if you have for example a chair. I'm not going to project the chair, but you do this. You do the same thing. You just project the chair out. And this is kind of where it would be. I mean, everything that we build and design from is all from the primitives, you know, a cube, a sphere, cylinder, cone, things like this, and the variations of that, and you, you, you put those things together in certain ways, they make a, a different kind of shape, but you got to always keep that kind of stuff in mind, it's, um, it, you know, you know, I just built this um, vase from a simple box projection, same thing with this, this is, you know, you would, you would, you would have, you'd have, it's almost like two squares, right? So you project this point, that point, that point, that point, that point, and that point back out out to here. There's your points. You know, if if you're um, it if you this can give you the basic sizes. You don't have to have, like if you have a room that's got tables and chairs and all this business going on, you don't have to ha draw every single table and chair in the back here. This is just to get the space, to get the feeling of the space within, which is very, very difficult for a lot of people um, to understand how to draw things that are surrounding you as opposed to drawing things that you're looking at in front of you on a table or something like that. So what you would do if you have a complicated room is you get a few key items, project them out, place them um, in the space, and those are your cheat sheets, those are your guides for sizes for the rest of the stuff. So, you know, obviously once you've got a few tables and chairs and some vases in there and you know the heights and, and widths of those things, um, the other stuff that you want to bring in and you know the heights and widths of those things, you can just drop them in there and somewhat eyeball them uh, relative to the, the sizes that 
the others have, have given you. You don't have to project every single item. So, uh, but projection is a, is a very basic technique. It's been used for many, many years um, on drawing interiors. Um, and this is just basic, of course. We're not, we're not dealing with any uh, vertical perspective here. These pillars and these walls are uh, straight up and down, which um, wouldn't be the case. Uh, as they come forward, they would, uh, uh, these would lean in a little. You, you know, you'd, you'd start getting. I'm drawing this on a Wacom, so I'm just trying to. So this would lean in, and then this would lean out a bit, you know, as they come toward you. Um, but that's, uh, you know, that's another subject um, in terms of perspective. Uh, here we're just talking about projecting correct sizes and putting them within a space. So I hope that that uh, helped you, gave you the basis of um, placing things, projecting things, getting basic sizes, um, uh, pulling everything from a back wall. Um, remember to get your back wall scale correct. And then from that scale, that's the first step, then you can start bringing in your items that you will draw on your back wall and project forward. Okay, so I hope this helps uh, and I'll see you next time.